I'm pretty sure. Aww. It's a beautiful day. Honestly, this is the perfect kind of weather to go to Cedar Point, to go to the Cuyahoga County Fair, because it's not just instant sweat when you're standing out there. And at this time of the year, that's what pretty much everyone's mentally prepared for. But it does have a little bit of a fall feel outside this morning. Perfect timing coming off of the preseason game. Didn't go exactly the way we would want it to. But also look beyond the stadium there and you see a couple of those clouds developing over the lake. That's because we have the potential for lake effect rain showers today, but also water spouts are going to be a possibility. Majority of our issues today or any kind of uh, active weather is really going to be on the lake where you have the high risk for rip currents, water spouts being a possibility, and it's still pretty choppy with waves of one to three feet. We've actually already seen a couple of isolated lake effect showers weakening as they moved into Lake County, northern Ashtabula. There is still some development though beyond it, so we are going to still have this chance for a few showers, particularly in our primary snow belt. In this case, more like a rain belt. There's also going to be a little bit more cloud cover there. You see these showers here, especially the more north and east you live. Later today, kind of fades off into northwest PA, and we'll have a mixture of sun and clouds. A little bit more cloud cover for this afternoon for some of us, but it doesn't look like it lasts all day. We will keep that small rain chance for tonight into tomorrow, and even a lot of this week has teeny tiny rain chances. Out the door, as I mentioned, feeling a little bit like fall. Upper 50s, low 60s, and later today, low humidity. Temperatures in the middle 70s, upper 70s, farther inland. And again, most of you stay dry. If you're on the west side, you live in Akron, Canton, I'm not worried about you seeing too many showers for today. It really has that highest potential in the primary snow belt. And once again, it's going to be on the cool side for tonight with temperatures falling into the 50s, particularly inland, mid and low 50s once again. So if you're trying to go see the Perseid meteor shower, arguably the best of the year because of the sheer number of meteors that you can see per hour this year's look like about 50 to 75 meteors per hour when the sun or excuse me when the moon finally sets at around 11 30 p.m until dawn is going to be the best opportunity to see any of those meteors just get away from light pollution it's not humid at all it will start to feel the dew points in the humidity climb a little bit by tuesday and wednesday but it's not over the top quite yet and we have a few shower and storm chances tuesday dry wednesday thursday but look what's coming here by the end of the week, Friday and into Saturday, looking like our better chances for showers and thunderstorms. Not ideal if your weekend event is something you're hosting next weekend. Right now I have scattered showers and storms. Of course, as we get closer, we'll get a better idea about timing placement of those showers and storms, but something to be aware of a week out.